Okay, well, this is good. I mean, you know, you could say it's good news for G2. I think Callista's a really fucking bizarro pick here. Wow, they actually lock it. Oh my god, they're gonna they're gonna do they're gonna do Callista Diana, dude. This is the thing that T1 just ended up running, right? This is actually the thing that uh, T1 just ran. Um, unironically, Gnosis would be insane. This would actually be hilarious. Um, but there's there's zero chance that we're gonna see Gnosis because then Callista just can't play the game. Well, vape Nash. Yeah, I mean, you. So the thing is, is that you know that G2 are just coming into you now. Like, there's no pivoting for G2's comp. They're all in. They've they've already showed their entire team composition. And maybe they're determining that like B1 TF just can't uh, salvage draft um, versus like this type of a team composition because you know that Yasuo is coming in on R3. So they 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 consider themselves to have a good matchup in mid. Um, and they're, they're just hard committed to the team composition. The Callista just out the gate, though, is, like, really fucking weird because there's so many champions in bot lane. Now, I don't know how much G2 knows about Gumiyushi. Gumiyushi is a Draven player. Um, he is, like, he's one of the Dravens in Korea, even though he doesn't play it all that often. Um, he is a Draven player. Uh, so Callista versus Draven is, uh, you know, un unironically, like, well, I mean, they're not gonna they're not gonna nos this, and also, I mean, they have twisted fate, they have cannon, so it's not it's not the most value. And now they they have a random Orin, um, so I mean, it, it does provide some sort of like mid rangey uh, supplement. Yeah, I mean, it does supplement the draft. I mean, I don't think this I, I don't think the Orin pick is, is that bad. Um, into the oh my god, do it, do it, do it, big big D. Oh, are they gonna Tristana? Maybe maybe he wants an ability to break out of uh, Yasuo and and all that. Okay. Oh, I thought I thought he was gonna Draven. I thought he was gonna Draven, man. Jinx is not good here. Yeah, Jinx, Jinx is really bad. G two have Exodia because T one won't pick the correct answer to G two bad uh, drafting. Um. Well, I mean, I, I honestly I don't even know what you do here. Uh, to be to, to be total. Wow, Rel. I think Rel's probably. Oh, uh, Rel might be better than Tarik, ironically. Who who won draft? Um. Honestly, I mean, I, I think G2, I, I think it's just very easy to play G2's comp. The Rel's really interesting. I think the Rel might actually be better than Tarek. Um, I think I think, I think Rel and Tarek is a really nice, like, school of thought uh, to be looking at when, when you're when you're staring down the barrel of, like, what, what G2 has, um, B1 through, or R1 through R4. I think, I think the Rel is good. Um, no, it's not a best of three, it's a best of one. So... I mean, I, I think that this is a, I think this is interesting. I think in a, in a best of one, like this kind of a draft, this could be, this could be something where, you know, you could, you could snipe a win. So, I mean, I think in that regard, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting, but I, I do still think that with the way that some of the lanes are, I think that G2 can, um, like try to hang on, but, um, it, it'll be interesting. I mean, mid lane, mid lane will be interesting. Mid lane will be very interesting. That's where G2 finds, I think the most success is obviously in mid lane. Um, now when I say hang on, I'm obviously referencing like Kennen versus Orn because I, I, I am curious what's going to happen with Broken Blade versus, uh, Zeus up in top lane in that matchup. Um, Orn should be fine in it. Take Spellbook, um, Second Wind, etc. Um, no, Poppy, Poppy, Poppy is not, uh, Poppy's not particularly great there as, uh, support. Um, I think Rel, you, you have to just be able to stand your ground, um, because they're coming into you no matter what, and Poppy W, even though it's good, I mean, it's not as good as Rel or Tarek. Spellbook TF, I think, makes the most sense here. Oh, Yanko's nice kiting. Oh, they know. They know where he is. Yep. Pings go down immediately. Ooh, Caria. Whoa, whoa, Targamas, what are you doing? Oh! What was he doing? Oh! They caught Flacken, too! Oh, my lord! Guma God! All right, well... First blood for Guma Yushi. Well, Flockhead uh, getting getting tagged there is also like I mean he he does he does flash away, but like that was a fantastic trade by T1. That was really 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 good by T1. They're ahead everywhere. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is the thing that I meant by hang on is Broken Blade in top lane. Um, how how is he actually going to end up doing? Um, call start even by Zeus is really good. Mountain Drake first one of the game. That is really that's really really big. Um, T1 hate reptilians. This is all true. Uh, Yanko is going to come in, and it looks like Caps is going to get some assistance in shoving out the wave. Um, I don't know why he just queued like that. That was really weird. Um, he is running Ignite as well against Faker's TP. Wow, Faker is actually annihilating him in mid. Holy shit. Faker has TP. 
Faker has TP. He's still almost full HP. Caps is being forced to recall. Gumiyushi owner down in bottom. Repelling Targamas and Flacket off the wave. Callista falling behind is like Doomsday. Callista falling behind is so Doomsday because she's so dependent on basically being able to be ahead, being able to actually be a threat in the early into mid conversion because once it gets to mid, once it gets to late, everything is really, really, really bad. But yeah, they do get the Mountain Dragon. They're up they're up so much versus G2. It's not it's not even close. It's really not even close. This game right now. This is a this is a super fucking Now the the really weird thing is that G2 try I mean <clears throat> G2 is also trying to do too much inside of the draft. Had Yasuo and bot lane ended up winning, the Orn there is like a a win more feature in the later stages I think is nice. Um some people might think that it's like a follow-up engagement for the Yasuo. I I think it's like there's other champions that you could just pick um in order to to do that. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that's it. That's a kill. I got a kill on to Flacked, who now loses his uh, his summoners as well. And uh, yeah, it's a 5,000 gold lead here at 13. Um, so G2 just getting absolutely fucking squashed. 5,300 gold lead. I mean, I think it's actually possible. Oh, Faker's dead, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Teleport. Oh, Zanya, 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 Zanya. Really good by owner. Really good by owner. Oh, vape nash! Oh my God! Jesus Christ! The vape nash! Holy shit! What a fight! What a fight! But you guys got a glimpse. You guys got a glimpse. Oh my God! You guys got a glimpse of like what team fights are possible it's really hard to fight for t1 especially separated like that they need to all be to oh my god carrier has one of the worst items in the game he unironically has evan shroud holy fucking shit that's good news for g2 unironically this, this this is how they can win right so we mentioned 25 minutes as a break point but because of these fights and the exp that was just handed over it sort of accelerates it um I, it might be like 23-ish minutes. I think Orn, uh, Orn hits 14 now. Might be like 23-ish minutes. It was. A, I, it's just. It, it's. It's a massive. It's a massive wombo. It's a massive wombo, right? Zeus goes down. Owner is, is there to pick up the pieces. The vape nash is just uncontrollable. Honestly, Owner did everything like perfect. Yeah. He unironically did almost everything perfectly. That was so fucking clean, dude. Boner is. Boner, Boner is very funny. T1 have sort of created the situation where they just need to hang on for five minutes. They need to get to Ocean Soul. Caria will get ulted and go down immediately. And the wind wall is there as well. Ooh, Faker, Faker's going to go down. Faker, Faker's going to go down. But Boner on the right-hand side. Can they get Boner? Can they get Boner? Oh, no. If Boner gets one possessed, it's over. Oh, if Boner gets one possessed. Oh, they got him. Yeah, they got Boner. They got Boner? Gumiushi can't even fucking deal damage, dude, by the way. Unironically. Oh, he did it! He, he got the damage, but he didn't get the W! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, Zeus trying to maybe clear out mid lane. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's Targamas. I thought, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he goes on! He gets stunned! He gets stunned by Zeus! Oh my god, he's gonna kill Zeus! Okay, Zeus actually kind of griefing. Zeus kind of griefing, actually. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Carrier went down. Because, see, there's no fucking way that. G2 can actually do Baron here. There's no fucking way. So they, they, they're they they're warding for luxury. They're warding for luxury. And then T1 are separated yet again. Boner's not there. And Zeus not there. Boner, Zeus, both not there. Kennen also. Look at look at what Zeus did. Look at what Zeus did. The exhaust. The exhaust fades. And he uses Slicing Maelstrom. Really, really, really good patience. It's a really early exhaust by Targamas there. But really well played by, by Zeus. Oh man, if that Q hit, if that Q hit, actually, I think Gumiyushi doesn't need to go in. But Gumiyushi goes in because Big Dick Club. And uh, he needed to let Flacked know uh, that he wins the AD carry fight there. And that is a really, really big win for G2. It's a really big win for G2. I don't like what Yankos is doing. It looks like he's trying to power into Shadow Flame or maybe in, even Deathcap. But I think it's it's very unlikely that he actually gets to that, no? I think it's I think it's very, very, very... Whoa, 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 T1! 
Oh my god, the Sin Club. Oh my fucking lord. Sinners! Absolutely vile, unclean. Oh, really good! Really good by Flocken! Really good, really good, really good! Oh, and the win! My mic broke. Oh, my mic broke. Is my mic back? They win, they win, they win, they win, they win. They win, they win. They win, they win. They win. I'm back, right? I'm back. Um, okay. Oh, they're two manning. They're gonna two man Baron, yeah. They're gonna two man. Do they know? Yeah, Twisted Fate. Okay. Oh, fuck it! Okay, he's gonna. Oh my fucking lord, dude. Alright, he had the cleanse. He had the cleanse. He had the cleanse. He gets the cap Captain Jack uh, challenge uh, completed. Oh my god. Wait. No, wait. No, wait. Wait, wait, wait. They have wave and top. 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 Oh, boner. Oh my god, Caria is going in! Oh, they have no damage. Oh, the wind wall in the fucking ornament. Zeus goes in. That is a huge slicing maelstrom, but Kennen, not enough damage. Oh, my lord. The exhaust ends up going out, and holy fucking moly, Faker trying to stop the wave. He's trying to make it so that the Baron buff can't go off on the minions. Faker doesn't have anything. Cap's gonna gonna slide or he's gonna go through. Okay, Targamas looking for Faker. Yankos also looking for Faker. Um, Faker trying his best to run away. Actually, he's gonna end up going north. He almost has Destiny Gate up. He almost has Destiny Gate, but he can only Destiny Gate if he gets the Rakan. And no, he does not get the Rakan, so he does get his Destiny Gate canceled. Um, he, yeah, I, I, I think he was just like, he was pro, oh, is, because of the Callista Rens are on, and now the game is all fucking smoke and mirrors for T1, the only fucking way they can come back, I, they're, 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 they're staring down the barrel right now, okay, they're staring down the barrel, they are staring down the barrel, holy shit, dude, all right, Oh my lord. If Broken Blade TP'd on midwave, uh, they win the game. Uh, uh, yeah. Ooh, Faker up in 10. G2 doesn't look like they want to go for it. Ooh, the game glitched. Okay. Now, G2 are playing this uber, uber careful. They know that with each item purchased, the game just gets better for them. Uh, those, that is a lot of super minions, dude. Those, those are those are some definite. Those are some fucking gromp tromps or whatever the fuck it is from uh, from Mario. You guys know a uh, thwomps, right? Something like that. I don't even know. Okay, exhaust is up. So is Windwall. Carrier tries to go in. Rel is going to go down, and that is going to be the end of the game. Oh my lord! Ooh. Oh, go, oh, come on! Guma didn't die. It doesn't matter. They go for game. They go for game. They go for game. They go for game. There's no way to stop it. Owner can't do anything. Owner can't do anything. Target the Nexus. Uh, I think Broken Blade did a fantastic job. Broken Blade did the best job in that game. And I think if... Well, I mean, okay. I think if uh, teams that speak English uh, fucking, you know, like, understand that... <laughs> Like, because Twitter, Twitter and, and Reddit will probably comment about, like, the, the, the draft difference, like, quite a lot, right? The best way to beat RNG and T1 is through better drafts. It's not through laning phase stat checking. G2's composition should have been able to win in laning phase, in some, like, laning and early jungle. It should have been able to. It didn't. They fell really far behind. And T1 had a 6,000 gold lead. T1 should, in theory, be able to close the 6,000 gold lead, but it's equally as irresponsible that that 6,000 gold lead even happens in the first place, right? So that's how you argue against those dev devil advocate, like, idiots, right? Is that you acknowledge that the way that the early game went should not happen. Bot lane for G2 should not lose all their summoners and also get first blooded at level 1. That should not happen, right? Yasuo should not be forced to recall at fucking level 3, and be forced to share EXP with his jungler. That should not happen, right? Twisted Fate should not get a better, um, a, a vastly better early recall over the Oswald. That should not happen. Diana should not fall so far behind Viego early on. That should not happen. 
Um, T1 getting the, the, the early dragon and stuff, that should not happen. Like, there, there's so many things that shouldn't happen for G2 that did happen. So, the mid and the late game should be a surety in most cases. It's the same way they won in 2019. It really is the same way. 